this is the amount of space I need. So this has to be on this side. So I'm going to uh, or this on this side. So I'm going to drill some holes in here. Put this down at the bottom. Just a couple to tack it in, and then I'll have a template for a piece of aluminum. Although I think I might. Uh, Maybe I'll put one more brace to the back afterwards once I kind of get it built. All right, so I measured, I don't know if you can see this angle or not, but I measured this shaft and uh, it's right here at 74.6, so not all the way up and not all the way down, just a little bit up. And my angle iron is 74.6. That is in the but my, uh, my level is indicating 74.6. So I know that my angle is right to match uh, the propeller shot. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to drill out the other hole. I'm going to decide to put three, um, three holes in here. All right, I got the second one in. Here's my last uh, sanity check. It seems like every time I check this, it shows a different amount. 74, sorry, 74.5. This one, 75. 74.2, and this one, 74.5 so pretty all pretty damn close all within a half a degree of each other so i don't think that's going to cause any problems so i'm going to get on with the uh the template now and um after thinking about this for a while i might even just fiberglass make my own um because the wood i don't want it to move but the fiberglass will have a bit of give to it and but it'll still be very strong so i might put like three layers uh, wrapping um, around this uh, wood template but i'm gonna redo it because of the um this cutouts here with a fresh piece so i'm gonna go get the motor and see if that can actually get that uh, template built and uh, now i'm back to what i always do seems like i never stop v vacuuming and clean up my workspace here. I'll just use the sander and sand down. That way I've got a nice good weave, solid weave on it. That's really the purpose for why I'm doing it like that. Alright, so I'm going to start with four pumps of uh, 105 systems and west systems 205 come back tomorrow i'll see how stiff it is if it's stiff enough to hold it's about 35 pounds so it's not like it's 500 pounds it's only 35 pounds but just it's a torque you know Thank you. 
Alright, so I'm going to let that sit for, uh, I don't know, 12 hours or something until 12, 16 hours till tomorrow. And it should be, uh, I think, hard enough to be able to handle. Uh, this is my goal, anyway. Hello, uh, good morning. It's the, uh, hello, it's the 6th of, sorry, 16th of February. It's in the morning. And um, I need, I found some stainless steel bolts, which are cool. And I need uh, a little bit shorter length for my, uh, for my motor over here behind me. I've got these zinc ones that fit so I can mount it. But they're about maybe a quarter of an inch too long. I could probably put a couple washers in there, but they'll just sort of stick out a bit. And I'm trying to make them as tight as possible. But I really wanted stainless, and I found some stainless ones here. Um, so my only problem with them, these are even longer. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, figure out a way to cut these. I'm going to need to figure out how to clamp this here somehow with some clamps, because that's, that's all I got, little hand clamps. I'm going to give this a try and see if this actually will work. So I'm going to cut out my uh, my holes and redrill, and then uh, see how trim off my ends. See how this thing uh, looks here. Try. Alright, so I've got it all mounted, looking good. Um, I'm just going to go find a washer just to give it a little bit more surface area that the motor's holding on to, but uh, I can pretty much lift this motor up without this thing bending, so I think that uh, this is uh, a success. Um, I'm going to install it and then keep an eye on it, and if I see any kind of movement at all or bending, uh, like I said, uh, I'll bring this maybe to somebody and then get a, it made out of aluminum, um, like a diamond plated steel thing or something. Something that, that I know won't move, but uh, I'm very surprised at how strong this is. I'm not very surprised, I knew it would be strong, but I was like, wow, this is like really strong. Uh, so my only uh, thing that I could do differently would be to put maybe um, a beam here and a beam here with a cloth that goes up down like a channel on each side and then uh, what do you call that put one more piece on and when I do that it would uh, create stiffness because of the angle shape on it so that would be the only thing else I might do 
because I'll keep an eye on it when I install it and then if it needs some further adjustment I'll take it off and, uh, and do that. Here. And that is and that is my mount. Looks like I'm good. We'll see if, the, if this moved at all. 73.7 and this one is 74 well it's uh, the afternoon I got my motor installed so I got what I set out to do accomplished which is awesome so I'm gonna go over to the office and grab a bite to eat on my way there and then uh, actually cut some videos I gotta get some of my uh, video work done to get into or I'm trying to get the episodes caught up to present time I'm about still about seven eight months behind so I'm not totally crazy about that part I'd like to get them just so that I'm almost in real time or a week or two off um, mainly just uh, I'd like to get some feedback on what I'm doing if anybody has some ideas I'd like to be able to sort of stop midstream and you know put some into current or put some uh, ideas into action so that's one thing um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's going it's the middle of February and I have uh, I'm trying to think about here I've got about 50 hours available to myself coming up in March for work on the boat. So it's like, what can I get done in 50 hours? So I'm gonna get like a, like maybe about a four inch and a two inch pulley, something like that. Or maybe, like I don't know the sizes they come in, but maybe it's like three inch and six inch or uh, how, however it is. I, actually, I think it's based upon the number of teeth. So you want, you can get a different size pulley, but they have slightly different teeth. And then I measured center to center. So I think that's all I, that, that I need to uh, order some parts. So I'm going to try to do that uh, tomorrow, which is uh, Tuesday. And uh, then what are my next projects after this? Well, I've got to get it hooked up. Uh, but I, I want to finish the uh, electrical area first. So uh, I, don't, I want to put some conduit feeding into the... I guess we'll call that the motor room or the motor section and I like the conduit to go all the way over to the electrical panel that way I can kind of fish wires through from one part to the other without having wires all over the place that would be one of my goals um, so I'm gonna have to put some conduit in Basically, I got to make the doors so that I can get the electrical panels to open and close. And there's a section that I want to put the uh, radio on, uh, the VHF radio. Uh, and then between now and the next two months, I need to order uh, the gauges because that's another thing that I need is uh, the through hull pieces. have to get changed on the front so the through hauls right now are from Signet which is like 1975 stuff they're still in, around but they don't seem to be too serious about their um, their instruments so I'm looking at changing those out to just Raymarine they're a little bit more current and uh, there's one function on the Raymarine that I like uh, that I'd like to get um, 
in the future for when I'm doing uh, some sailing down uh, in the ocean. Um, I'd like to get the video camera alerting somehow working. So with the Axiom uh, display, you can actually have your cameras feeding into it. So I can put like a sensory camera up on the front of the hull and it could be infrared. And then if I'm sailing and a boat is in the front of me, um, or a tree or like an island or something like if I'm off course and I'm sleeping uh, then uh, it, it can alarm so that way you know it can act as my early warning system so with AIS I should be able to get an alarm if there's a boat within you know let's just say five miles of me and then uh, if I'm, I'm going to be doing probably a rotational sleep so if I'm doing a solo I'll probably sleep for like 30, 40 minutes, get up, do a watch check, and then sleep uh, again 40 minutes. So I'll have broken sleep at night. But with the warning systems, if I do accidentally sleep in for a couple hours, uh, then I can have AIS warning, but infrared camera warning. That's that's actually a, a more critical thing for me. Um, so that's kind of what I'm uh, why I'm switching it over to the Raymarine. So I got I gotta buy just the through hulls because I can't put the boat in the water and then drill out the through hulls and re-epoxy them. And then I think that I'd like to do them uh, as soon as the weather gets a bit better so I have a good two weeks to a month out of water where they're just solid, they dry uh, nicely. So that, that would be my uh, one of my projects coming up. Uh, what else is there? Well, obviously you can see the galley is still a whole pile of things to do there, but uh, that's just mostly finishing. That's I can do that after, uh, but it's just really the electrical area. So I, I just want to make sure that that area is fixed. The V berth in the front, I've got a place to sleep, so that's part's kind of done. Um, the galley, it's close, and I think that with my uh, I have to get a, a pure sine wave in, uh, inverter. To be able to go ahead and uh, appreciate all your comments and feedback, and uh, if you I'd appreciate you subscribing and giving me a thumbs up on my videos, that'd be awesome. Uh, and yeah, any advice you have for me, that'd be great. Thank you. Well, this is uh, Canadian winter. Just got the, uh, the Jeep started. It's uh, diesel, so it, uh, what do you call that? It needs a bit to get going. Uh, but uh, we're gonna have to scrape the windows here.